Not anymore. Pike, it's even better. As long as he can break the static link, get away from some of these heroes. But CC and C, he can't get away. Oh, Tim's. Damn, man. This is looking for more. Look at this. The back line. Uh, he found Peter Pan. Dan managed to get the two man stunned. They're going to fight this one out with the BKB. Now it's just a question how many heroes can they actually grab with the Eclipse going out? That's going to do not a whole lot of damage at all. Tim's actually tanks it up with the Spike hair base. Spike has turns. Tries to finish off Tim's. Not going to be good enough. Meanwhile, 33. He's going to be chased down here. Does not have a TP for 27 seconds. Toss back. Almost trying to get Tim's. They got him with a Miss Coil. 33, though. He knows that is all they're going to get. They got two kills, but got wiped in the process. They are now down and being pressured. CCNC gonna be pulled back. 33 had already had the Aphonic Shield on cooldown, so CNCNC is already dead. Borrowed time popped early. 33 trying to heal himself up. In the back lines, Cuckoo's dropping a little bit low. Zai goes for the kill on Armel. Managed to get a Maledict on him. Turns, tries to get off the Goldsmith. Unable to do so. He's popped by the Maledict. Now, Pycat on the run. Goes for a Pycat, but they're trying to run with a Vendetta hit. What a monstrous amount of damage. 33 has no bar time either. Nice use of the spike hair pace. Tim's Nyx Assassin. TNT, Armel is going to come forward with the Shiva, slowing down some of these heroes. 33 on the outside lines, kind of getting targeted here, but now inside the pit, Eclipse goes down. BKB activated, trying to throw out all the damage, and they will nuke down this Luna. Doesn't really do enough. Now TNT is. Spike's Cannabis. Quite low as well. Aiden so they pick up. Armel managed to snatch it before the SF could grab it up. And now the buybacks funneling out from Optic, but they're losing this team Everyone's fight dead. handedly. Both cores on the side of Optic buyback, thinking that there's going to be more opportunity. TNC dominate that fight. If you're newbie, you have to try and bait them in a little further and take a huge fight with Ravage and Monkey King Ultimate. It's really coming again. Chance. Roshan's really low. Monkey King can see it. The Wukong Commander's out. KP needs to pop this Ravage. He's only got two in range and he's being slowly kited out. The Ravage will never come. There's no buyback available. Tim's tried to solo up against Mugi, but it won't be enough until Armel arrives to finish the job that was begun. Kaka is here. Does he just go for a YOLO play? No, it's too late. Roshan belongs to TNC. Aegis him all in the hands of the Terra Blade. And Kaka, as well as Faith, they can't have this happen once again. It's an aggressive weave out from Cuckoo. So this armor is starting to be stripped away from them with the. My loyal ward. Tree top. Oh. Kaka! 10 yeah. HP, number one! Oh, Savage from downtown! Met up in 30 seconds, so I'm sure they'll probably look to go again as soon as that's up. He's setting up. It's all on the Kaka with the Yule Scepter initiation of SK, the Crush, connects on the Venomancer. A quick little veil, and uh, well, KP tossed back into him. He doesn't have Ravage for 13 seconds. Mugi tried to lend a stun. KP has buyback, so he will need to expend this to defend. Seven seconds till Ravage is up. The Venomancer just goes in so deep. It's Nova that gets stolen, returned by Faith all over TNC. They'll have the Shallow Grave and regenerate. As they just push Sam H further and further away, the assassination! And CCC was able to reach him. They pushed and pushed and pushed. But they couldn't stop him. Now Moogie. BKB's up. So many Ravens. He's still got Sunder available on the damage output. Ravens just too much. There's the Sunder swap over on KP. All the buybacks. Never got the Ravage. And this looks like a done dinner. Cooked to perfection for TNC. You can buy back on the Sniper, but you've got no other real friends that can help defend this. Cuckoo Shallow Grave protected from the assassination. And there it is. GG. Well played. TNC now two up in this tiebreaker. By the way, it wasn't mentioned too much, but while the action was breaking out in the bottom, and you know, we still see objectives being had here from Liquid Curl was able to secure Winter's Curse. Secure that mid-tier one rather easily. Maybe You're not going anywhere. While mid lane, first Wyvern ultimate, gonna be committed to lockdown. Fear quiets magic. Down, Miracle in his place, but that's when GH looks to step in as the bodyguard, but they are going to be able to get the blast finish on both. Mind Control can't have it. Jumps in with the Sonic Wave. It's not going to be enough. He'll lose his own life, too. Oh, Liquid Disaster. The life. They could end up losing all five in the mid lane, and they are all done. Sam H. Dracula himself with a triple kill. Here comes TNC. A hard move in. GH stops Armel in his tracks with that Burrow Strike, but will be handing over his own life. He's taken down, and as you mentioned, no buyback available for him. So the Sand King is not going to be able to commit his epicenter party into this fight. TNC are just left to their own devices as they slowly siege forward onto this Tier 3.
A heal's gonna be there for Raven, but Miracle is just juking and jiving around right now, looking for opportunities to just get cute little sleight of fists in. Gyro, it's very low. Can they get that Aegis to pop? Oh, move in from Cuckoo. Finds Miracle. They're gonna hit him with a rocket. They're gonna hit him with a stun. They're gonna hit him with everything they got, and he's gonna go down. 60 seconds, no buyback. Could Liquid throw in the towel already? Yeah, yes, they the can. Woo! TNC have secured a spot into the main event. Things not going their way. Smoke gang from TNC hunting for a target. Somnus is in a good position. Now a bad position. The jump in with the TA trap. Meld strike. Split Earth. It connects. And that's goodbye to Somnus. Not even a death ultimate for him. Ensnare? Okay, well that's going to be off target for him. As uh, that blink dagger for Templar Assassin is already up and running. The glimpse him away and into the storm. Call down from Raven tries to create space and that flat cannon damage is hitting so hard as X Nova and TNC is kill up to kill the cursed crown. The one that Nova is wearing will bring him down and four heroes in total all fall down. Here comes the axis, but Kuku has arrived. Look for the lightning oh. and the pulse, Nova. Ame knows he can't survive, and then the bramble. Chalice can't go anywhere. Somnus will die. Kuku with the double. Somnus getting hit by one of the side blade attacks. They still haven't finished the job on the melee racks. More hits. Sam H is in range of that sentry ward. So yeah, they clearly see him, even a secondary one. Inside the lane, Sam H pulled back in the double fire strike, and then the hit. Somnus takes so much damage with the flat cannon call down from Raven. TNC, they have all the damage in the world. Now GD have no life and no hope. GG is the call. TNC will take the first position out of the group A tiebreakers. LGD into that second slot. I believe they actually go 3-1, potentially with the breakdown with Optic, I believe.